Hello everybody, how's it going today? Superfiend here. Welcome back to our Total War Three Kingdoms playthrough as the Yellow Turbans. Last episode, we were laying siege over here in Jian An at the farms, and that's Duchy of Wu's territory. They have come out. They have sallied forth to attack us. So let's go ahead and fight this battle manually. We have a Yellow Turban Scholar and a Veteran and then a Captain Unit. I believe it's just Peasants. No, this is... This is the better unit. So we got Spearmen, Yellow Turban Warriors, and we have People's War Band. Let's go ahead and fight this. And then after this battle, we'll take a brief look at where we are on the campaign map. And what our goals are for this episode. Hint, hint, it involves Lubu. Oh, and this is, this is Kuang Pai. This is our administrator that has the extremely reduced construction time that we bounce around. Uh, to build our copper mines. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Uh, let's just set these guys out like this. We don't have any flaming shots, so we're probably going to be aiming our trebs at... Well, I was going to say cavalry, but I don't think they have any cavalry. Uh, then we have... A nice front line of yellow turban warriors. Only a couple units of spears, and then all this stuff can kind of go back there. Is this the captain? That is the captain. We're going to put him right here, uh, right in the middle. He'll give a nice area of influence buff. And we have the People's War Band. Good in melee, assault, weak against missiles. Kind of put one there, one there, and then our Militia of Virtue will go on the sides behind the spears, and then we have two units of Chanters. We'll put uh, one over here, one over here. I really like the large radius of influence that the Chanters have. It's really good. And then Sky Heralds, Unbreakable, Unruly, and Assault. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our whole line back just a little bit. And we're going to let our Sky Heralds, since they are unbreakable, they can bring up the front here. And selecting everything except our Trebs, let's uh, just walk forward. And our Trebuchets, let's see, let's just aim at their missile units. And maybe we can bring our Generals slash cavalry around the right flank to get on the archer militia over there. I'm going to turn guard mode off of everybody. We don't have any missile units this army, huh? No, we don't. It is all infantry. Okay, these guys are going to charge in when the opportunity presents itself, being unruly. They are taking a wee bit of missile fire. How are we doing with our artillery? Let's watch these guys on the charge. Boom! The lines meet. Our Sky Heralds, I think, are having a rough time of it, though. Let's bring up our reinforcements. They're trying to run from our generals. It is not going to work. Greatly outmatched them in speed and power. Redirecting our artillery onto that unit in the back there. And our Militia of Virtue coming around the uh, sides here. 
Chanters as well. Alright, here we go. They got their staves or bows. And they aim low at the backs of the knees. That's brutal. <laughs> that is brutal. And our generals are just running amok in the backfield there on all their archers. The chanters charging in here. And we got more of our militia of virtue. That guy had a big swing. Knocked a few of them off their feet. Okay, it does look to be more or less over. Well, we got some stuff going on over here. Let's bring these guys back. Get on uh, these guys over here. Make a nice gigantic pile. We're not taking too many casualties, so we're okay. The charge from the spears. Not ideal. They didn't have a whole lot of momentum over there, and then because they lose their momentum, they didn't they didn't like wrap around the rest of the way. That's fine. Our generals are returning back. Let's make sure our artillery is not firing. All this stuff over here is now broken. And our Sky Heralds, man, did they take a beating. Okay, we do have guard mode off, so we will kind of pursue everything that breaks for a little while. Did I not tell these to stop firing? Here, just face the other way then. And our generals with the final charge of the battle. They must be tired, but they still have a little bit left in the reserves. And that should be the battle. Yes. Where's our victory screen? That took a little while. But okay, let's hop on out of here now. Okay, okay. You know, I think we're going to take the replenishment because we did suffer a few casualties there. So we shall replenish up. It is still in the AI moves. Okay, we got Lu Bu here. He is battered and tattered and fleeing home to his farmland at Wu Wei. And if we are lucky this episode, we are going to eliminate him. And he shall become a footnote in Chinese history. We have a failed ambush here. They have 993. Sao Jai and Li Shang, Duchy of Zhang. Uh, you know what? I think we just delegate this one away. Let's turn on the night battle. We have another army right here as well. I think that's us. We didn't lose very much. Uh, we are not in friendly territory, so let's take the replenishment. We're earning a lot of money per turn right now as well, so there's a lot less pressure to take the ransom. Ooh. Who is this? Oh, Sai Mao. Okay, yeah, we took this uh, from them recently. This is the farm or the livestock farm over at Jiangling. They don't have any territory, so now they're suicidal. So let's see, he's attacking our our army outside. How does that work? No, we got everything. Okay, we can, we can delegate it in any case. I don't think he can, like, kill anybody. Decisive victory. And once again, it's not much, but we will take the replenishment. As the ransom was not much either. Man, 
And this is at Poyang. That's Kingdom of Ba. I wonder where, exactly where they're off to. Living in harmony. The mind is one's most powerful tool. And when one brilliant mind recognizes another, the result is either firm friendship or fierce rivalry. Fortunately, these two find a close bond in their combined exploits, which continues to grow whilst cementing their friendship. So the relationship has grown between Diao Ling and Liang Qi. Where's Diao Ling? So is Liang Qi in here? It, it, he is! And these are our court armies again. Once again, these six generals here are all involved in these two armies. And we're going to move them around together. Uh, we also, one of them, I think it's from this one, provides... Uh, no, it's the veteran. 15% retinue upkeep reduction uh, for armies in the local commandery. So pretty much all their armies are incredibly cheap if we keep them together. And they do have some good units. You know, we got the bringers of righteousness in here. We got some chanters. Uh, yellow Termin warriors are not all that great, but then our trebs are a little bit cheaper. Our reclaimers are cheaper. And let's go run down and eliminate Sai Mao. This might be their last standing army. And we can go ahead and finish you off. Oh my goodness. Right through the neck and out the spine. Ouch. Ouch. Mm, once again, we'll take the replenishment. We're earning 17,000 per turn. Faction destroyed. Sai Mao. Very good. And so where would we go next? You know, we're going to have to fight Duchy of Chu eventually. And who are you up here? Who are you and what do you do? It's you too. From Duchy of Zhang. They're taking attrition. They don't really have anywhere they can go. Yeah, we're going to have to go to war with Duchy of Chu eventually. Um, ba, 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 ba. This is Han Empire over here. Okay, for now, let's just pop back into the settlement. And let's go up here and look at what's going on. Last episode, I think it was, we took uh, Xiu Fang, and that was Zhang Jiang's last territory. So that faction has been destroyed. She's no longer in the game, I don't think. I haven't seen her on the campaign map in a long time. And then Lu Bu, we... I can't remember. No, we haven't fought Lu Bu yet. We haven't. He was, he was close to us here at the Animal Tamer, but then he kind of ran away. And he's been running along the coastline here. So we can see his army is very depleted. He's in really bad shape. And it's a race against time to see who can get over here to the farmland first. I'm hoping it's us. Now, but let's push on over here. This is a double garrison farm. Can we get in the water here? Like, I think we can get here before they can. Let's go into, like, faster movement. Oh, yes. Next turn, we can lay siege and start causing attrition before he even arrives. Uh, we've also got an army uh, here. We moved him down this way, but then they stopped replenishing in the river. Um, but you know what? I think in their current state, I think we could eliminate Lubu. Um... <laughs> No, you know what? I'm just going to put them in the city for right now. With this army, though, uh, we'll chase after Lu Bu a little bit. Just to prevent him from coming back this way and taking the animal tamer or the city. It looks like Shi Xiao Zhu is going to attack this army that belongs to Lu Bu. So I'm hoping they don't make it anywhere. We do have towers here so if they attack the toolmaker we're fine we got walls there we're, we're, we're pretty much like okay and all this stuff uh we still cannot attack fan yi it's bugged out and i just don't see any reason to keep this army around right now i don't think we need it at all except to uh maybe take the lumber yard when we finally go to war with duchy of chu so, you know what? Let's take her and let's just bring her down the river. We'll get her over here at Lao Yang and then we'll recruit a little bit. Okay. This episode, though, if we can do it, is all about eliminating Lubu. That's our goal. 
No more Luvu. And... Jihad. Okay. This is our territory here. Really, I can't stand in these trees, huh? Uh, what happened to the territory marker? No, our territory is way back here. Uh, so if I want to replenish with this guy, we need to come all the way up to here. Darn it. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to move up with both armies. Why is this guy's movement so low? Seems really bad. Do we have anybody in here with reach? No, we do not. Well, whatever. So we're going to head this way. And with our lead army, which is most likely to end up fighting this guy. Let's move a little bit further. I guess not that much further, huh? I want to encamp with him. So if they come up and attack us, at least we have towers and reinforcements. That should prevent them from attacking us. And then as we come down in here, uh, we can decide to either go right towards the small town that does not have walls at Shangyang, or we could go towards the lumber mill, which is probably harder to take than the town because I imagine it has towers. Over here, <laughs> we have uh, caught up to... Hanzhong. This is a high-level city, rank 8. We're ambushed right here. We're going to continue ambushing for just one more turn. I want to get our other army up. Okay. So we're just going to move all the way to here with this force and get out of that mountain passage. So next turn, we can attack Hanzhong very strongly. And that takes care of all this stuff back up there. I wonder if we have any more copper mines that we can upgrade. And while we've got the administrator over here, we may as well take advantage of upgrading this. Uh, but do we have any more copper mines? It's the uh, it's the little donut, right? I don't know why it looks like a donut. Maybe it's a coin. <laughs> no, I don't think there's any copper mines back here. There's Well, Wudu has one. Uh, but I don't think there's any up here. We've got this one. We've already upgraded that one to rank five. So I'm pretty sure there's none back in here. I don't think there's any copper in here. This is a weapon craftsman. Okay, copper. We can't see anything over here. Have we taken all the copper mines that can be took? Yeah, I think we have. I don't think we have any copper mines that we can specifically upgrade right now to reduce our overall faction corruption. Let's look at it, by the way, and see what it is. We'll pick uh, this city. It is at minus 20%. That's really good, considering that like we don't have any administrators or anything. Um, lowering corruption even further across, uh, across specific settlements. We could, on some of our better commanderies here, well, we have 0% in Jianye. That's from people that are in there. Uh, but like this one, we could get an extra 1400 per turn if we dropped an administrator into Taiwan. I'm not really that concerned with it right now. We got we got plenty of money. Like, we're, we've almost got our army cap. Um, you know, there's kind of a point in your campaigns where you don't really need to upgrade economy and stuff anymore. Uh, the bigger concern right now is let's go take more territory from Kingdom of Wu. Uh, I would have liked a nice, easy auto resolve here. I'm going to do it anyways. Again, our focus, Lubu. Lubu, we are after you. We didn't take too many casualties. And can we auto resolve the rice patty real easily? Uh, flaming shots off this way, so let's pursue that. And we are all melee in this retinue, so I think 10% uh, armor on retinue. Why not? That's a good auto resolve. So we'll take that. 
Oh, Kingdom of Wu has lost so much territory. Look at this. Once upon a time, they had all this stuff down here. They even had a little bit in here. And we had peace with them. You know, they could have they could have just let it lie. But no, that Total War AI can't help itself. It's got to go nuts and attack everything. Okay, they're staying right where they are, replenishing. Right. Okay, we were moving this army uh, kind of this way because Kingdom of Wood does have some forces somewhere in here uh, on the north side of the Yangtze River. I think it's the Yangtze. What's the name of this river? Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up towards our fishing port. And if they somehow come across and attack it, we will be reinforcements. No, they came up this way. This is where they are. Yeah, so we brought this army up. Um, Duchy of Wu. Yeah, they're no longer Kingdom of Wu, too, by the way. They're Duchy of Wu. So... Where are they going to go? Like, I could try and attack this guy, but I'm pretty sure he's going to run. Feng Shen, Lin Yi, and Ji Daegon. We recently recruited these guys. Uh, well, this guy. When the Yellow Turban Rebellion was destroyed. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull back just a little bit. And we're going to ambush. So hopefully we catch one of them off guard as it, hen as it heads towards Guangling. Don't know that it will. If they come across the river and attack Jian Ye, we do have this force uh, kind of moving north. And we could always bring up another army here at the Copper Mine. And very quickly counter them. So I'm not that worried about those two armies, but uh, we are going to have to kind of chase them a little bit. Where's our skill point? Research rate. That should be 700%. 710. So we'd probably have to get all the way to 800 for these to be two turns each. And we are currently waiting for homogenized construction methods, which will reduce construction time by three for grain storage, farming, communal trade, and organization buildings. We've got the other construction time reduction buildings. Once all three of those are done, and I kind of have a, a little bit of a break in between videos where we don't jump in right away in a battle, I'll probably start um, spending a little bit more time with administrators and construction. Okay, is that everybody that can move right now? No, we got these guys. Aha. We are moving kind of towards the lumber yard. Do we have trebs? We do. Well, let's just push down. I don't think they have anything here. Nope. It's pretty much undefended. We could also ask for peace with Duchy of Wu. And then use that time to move in and attack uh, Duchy of Chu very quickly. But I'm going to wait. Once we get rid of Lu Bu, let's end our turn. Once we get rid of Lu Bu, all of our armies up in the northwest are pretty much free to go do other stuff. What is this? Oh, they're attacking a toolmaker? Well, you know what? It looks like they're going to take this one without too much effort. I'm, I'm not going to bother fighting this one out. Okay, so we'll let him have it. We're going to get it back. It's no big deal. You're going to walk into my ambush? Oh! Ouch! Bummer. Bummer for you. We're going to fight this as a night battle. Xiang Fu and uh, whoever's with you. It's a bad day. Bad news bears. Not a whole lot of tree cover in this one too, so I'm hoping we get a nice hill that we can deploy on and just 
rain uh, wrath and destruction down on them with our archery masters and our crossbows with the shields what do they have for missile units it looks like four units of archer militia they got a little bit of cavalry not much okay where's their escape point is it over here uh don't they have an escape point what is did something change all right well which way are they facing okay i guess their escape point is should be over here i would think i have no idea uh well here's what we're gonna do we're gonna set up on this hill and we're gonna put our archery masters like right here and we're just gonna shoot Xiang Fu right off the bat with them. I'm going to put our crossbow trebs right there. I'm not sure if that's a good deployment, but I don't really care. And this stuff down over here. So... Do we have any spears? I don't think we have any spears. This guy's going to be tough. We have channers. So what we'll do with the channers... Okay, we need to attack that G militia. That G militia. Uh, these units over here. People's war band in the back. And let's get uh these guys right here. All right, right off the bat, shooting him, shooting him, shooting him, shooting there, shooting there. Oh, I forgot somebody, wouldn't you know. Okay, all this stuff is going to die really fast, though. He's already broken. Probably shouldn't even be firing with our crossbows. Uh, where's our archery masters? Shoot this right here. Okay, let's go get these guys. Uh, these guys. Run them down, please. Guard mode off, everybody. Kill that. Kill that. Where's our other... Where's their icon? Back there. Back there behind Mr. Fathead. Good, get on him. Get on them. Get on... No, get on him. Don't let him get away. Run it all down. Okay, go get them. Stay on them. This guy's dead. These guys are dead. You're dead. Uh, run that stuff down. Stay on that. Stay on this over here. We are absolutely demolishing this army. These guys are done pursuing. All right, very well done. 
let's speed it up here. We've got a unit of Saber Militia that refuses to give up the fight. Let's continue running them down as much as possible. If we can wipe out the whole army, I will. Yunji, 1G militia over there. Okay, so we got a few units left up this way. Bring these guys back. Oh, is he gonna make it? Aha! He got so close, but he did not get there. Right through the top of the head with that gigantic sword blade. Very short, but very thick. Okay, let's uh, take the 2% replenishment there. Lubu would like a peace treaty. He's offering us. Oh, this is so sad. He's offering us 190 gold coins. Oh, you poor popper. Get lost. He's just so destitute. Oh. And his other army here is running away from our yellow turban relatives. Oh, we got Machao and the Jiu Zhang. Okay, so they've they've gone into the city over there at Han Zhang, if that's the, the name. I can't remember exactly. Oh, is he gonna catch him? <gasps> Wipe them out. Eliminated. Ooh, and they eliminated another army, but we didn't get to watch it because we're like totally zoomed in here. Kingdom of Ba coming around the coastline here on the eastern side of China with another army. Oh, darn. We have a dead general. Uh, a scholar. Do we have a scholar that is friendly with people? Once again, I wish it would tell us, like, instead of replace your dead general, how about, like, so-and-so passed away or, or something? Or how about just let us not, let, like, why do we have to deal with this right now? Why can't we do it, like, when we go to move the army or something? You know, like, why does it have to happen right this second? I don't get it. Okay, but we do have a new scholar that we can put in here. Unfortunately, well, do we have any, like, recruitable heroes? No. Uh... All infantry. Is he a scholar? Yeah, a scholar. So a scholar with all infantry. Uh, you know what? Let's try swapping them out for a really good healer. Do healers have good infantry buffs? I feel like they, they might. Veteran. Let's put Yi Tai in there. Oh no, somebody else is dead. One of our healers. Okay, so we gotta find a healer that gets along with everybody. Luke Swan, should he come out of retirement? Where is this, by the way? I don't, I don't even know where it is. Oh, we have a scholar that gets along with everybody. But I think I want to pick a healer. Xi Yang. Oh my goodness, we're dropping like flies here. There must be something in the water. Okay, this is another scholar. <laughs> yeah. Wang Long Shao. Please be it, like nobody else. Settlement lost the toolmaker at Yangzhou. That's fine. Faction developments, homogenized construction methods. That is our reduced construction time. Ganshu 
Bai Ji and Xiao Jiang, all from old age. Oh, we lost a great healer here. Okay, so um, now we need to go back over to our armies. So one of them was, was down over here. So was it you? General of the people, general of the land, general of heaven. So it has to have been this guy. Sai Yang. All right, we gotta put Sai Yang in here. I hope he, I hope he's good. I hope he gets along with everybody. He gets along with the generals that are near him. Okay, where is Sai Yang? Here you are. You get along with everybody. You do. Um, there's no like personal benefits to this office, so you're as good as anybody. Okay, good, darn. Uh, who else passed? Okay, so let's, uh, death by natural causes. Xiao Jiang, or... Okay, what I wanna see is appointments. Here it is. Okay, Yi Tai at the Shang Yang Lumberyard. So, where is Yi Tai? Okay, so Yi Tai has dropped in right here. And we picked a healer as opposed to a scholar, so... Is that worth it? Can we can we boost our melee with this guy? Because normally he can't recruit these units. So we can do armor for own retinue. Melee armor piercing damage, melee damage. Melee armor piercing damage. Yeah, you know what? I think this will work out pretty good. He's going to have a pretty strong uh, melee retinue. But then if we can't ever re recruit or replace these units here with a different yellow turban. But that's okay. Uh, what's our last appointment? Huanglong Xiao. And for this general... Oh, uh, we got two veterans here. Oh, you know what? We managed to replace one veteran... Um, I think, was this the army where we had two veterans that didn't get along, or was that this one? I think it might have been this one. Yeah, darn. These guys all hate each other. We need to get them out of there. Uh, so, never mind. I thought we had replaced somebody who didn't like the other two with someone that was favorable across the board. But I am mistaken. I'm wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and close off our appointments. That's our reform. Traits gained, Xiao Jing, scarred right before death. That always happens. Some people have become friendly. Probably over here. Figurine carving workshop. So we've pretty much built everything as far as this stuff. Unless we do an upgrade. It's only 910 with all of our bonuses. So yeah, sure. Let's do it. And then let's, uh, let's upgrade this one. Is that what I was really doing? Do we have a lot of income from commerce here? I suppose we do. Yeah, let's upgrade it. Whatever. Okay, so that's that. Character ranks gained. Fang Shen. This is where we had our ambush. This is our scholar. What is this? Ranged firing rate, ranged armor piercing damage. We do have two units of our three masters, so I guess we'll we'll go that way. And Yang Zhao is now contested because they took a small piece of it. That's fine. We'll get it back. Okay, easy movements first. Let's get her uh, moving all the way over to here. Because we are going to end up at War with Duchy of Chu pretty soon, I think. Okay, so she's there. These guys are right here. Um... Now, what is the fastest path to this city? Three turns to go that way, huh? I don't, I don't really like that. Uh, let's try setting up right here. Okay, we are weak. Oh, they got two armies. Machao's there as well. Okay, we're going to encamp. And then... What's our encampment look like? 
like all infantry. Ooh. They don't have a lot of missile units themselves here. So if it's Duchy of Zhang that attacks, it's fairly balanced. This army would be more of a challenge. So let's uh let's move up to here. Oh, and they got a small army over here. Oh, this is Han Empire. I'd like to get a better ambush chance. But I can't really get it. Alright, we're going to go to right there, and we're going to ambush. There's a chance that they won't see it. And if they do attack us in the winter time, our towers will get a little bit more firepower. Or get a few more shots off on them, because they'll walk slowly in the snow. Okay, now this. This is, this is, this is tough. Which of these armies would do better... And in an encamped battle. And I'm going to say this one. So we're going to go right here. Okay. We're going to encamp. This army's running out of supplies. We're going to go right here. And ambush. Now I'm hoping that they come out and attack the encamped army. Or bring two armies to fight it. And then we'll have a nice big battle right here. And clear the settlement of its defenders, except for the small garrison. They've killed off that Lubu stack. Very good, fellas. Come up here and lay siege. Uh, we're just going to starve him out. Allow some attrition to run its course. And if Lubu comes up and attack, uh, maybe we'll just uh, fight the battle. I don't know. This is not a very good army. This army is almost replenished. So I'm going to force march and just get all the way down here. In fact, can we get to the water? No. Oh, we did. Uh, that might be enough to stop Lu Bu from getting on the shore. I don't think it will be. Come on, get up there. He can't do it. And then just to make sure that Lu Bu is like toast. Now that we've replenished a little bit with this force, we're going to force march all the way down the river. Get a huge movement range, range uh, when you're in the rivers and the waterways. It's very convenient. Okay, Lubu, we're closing in on you. Closing in on you. He's not replenishing. That's good. Let's now come over to here. Okay, let's wipe these guys out. Okay, we'll delegate this. We'll take the 2% replenishment. That should help make up for some of the casualties there in the ambush. We didn't have very many. All right, now this guy right here. I don't know if he thinks, if he'll think he can take us. But what we can do is, like, he could probably move to around here. So if we just go, like, right there. We're not going to encamp or anything silly. We're just going to draw him towards us, okay? That's the goal. Give him something to attack. Over here, we can probably auto resolve against this lumber yard. A decisive victory, very few casualties. Bahahaha. Some skill points for our efforts and. Campaign movement range, own army. Is what we're going to pick up. Okay, 
All right, Kingdom of Ba may become hostile with us at some point. And then we need to come across the river here and go get Yang Zhao back. So, uh, what is a good crossing point? And then we also have these armies here. Uh, you know what? This army... I'm going to recall, I think, this whole force. Or maybe just Mukai. Because he's a bit of a problem. Uh, in fact, let's take Mukai and let's pop him outside. Let us force march and let us head towards Jeanier. And with this force here, uh, you know what? We're just going to... Mm, this is tough. You know what? We got a fishing port right here. Yeah, what am I thinking? We got a fishing port. So we can pop out. How far can this guy move? We can get up on the shore right there. He might be able to come over and reinforce if this army opens up with the battle. Uh, but he also might get drawn off this way. So they're not going to have very many places they can move off to, though. Unless they beeline for the livestock farm. But I think that looks pretty good over there. Uh, now this army. And this army. Okay, we're going to come through here. And start heading off towards the toolmaker. Or the small city down here. And then... Let's head back over towards the lumber yard. Which is now abandoned? How'd that happen? No, I think it always has been. I was getting confused with the rice patty. We we uh we looted this or sacked it at one point. Uh, but let's head over towards the copper mine for now. Oh, duh! This is a copper mine that we can upgrade. Uh, it's very cheap. So let's just go ahead and. No, wait a sec. What? Oh, the copper mine's over here. Derp. It's not very cheap. It's very expensive. Oh, uh, we got 62,000. So let's just... Um, we're earning 16,000 per turn. Let's just spend that. Spend that. Now we're up to 18,000 per turn. So like in five turns, we'll recoup the money that we spent on that. So eh, not that big of a deal doing it instantly. A wooden doggy. People are friendly. Buildings. Yeah, okay, we went through all that. Is there anybody who has not moved? I really want to go get Lubu. Yeah, these guys. What do we do with them? Who are you again? That's you too. That's you too. I think these armies are just going to hang out like right here for now. Well, we are going to have to go up, I think, and take out Duchy of Zhu in these three cities. So for now... Let's just uh, sit tight in the city and let's go ahead and encamp. Let's pick our reform. Our next reform will be plus satisfaction for healers. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get this one three turns. And then I think that's all of the reforms that grant satisfaction to our character classes. So, like, we should never really have anybody that's cranky ever again. Even if we go into our characters. Like, even our least satisfied people are at 95 up there. And 100. Like, all these characters are at 100. My gosh. Okay. Uh, I think that's all we need to do right now. And I'm not going to... I'm still... I'm just not worried about the administrators and stuff at this time. Uh, Duchy of Wu. Well, go away. He's at least offering us a more lucrative uh, bargain there. 1130 per turn for 10 turns. But still, like, why would we care? We make more than that in one turn on our own.
So they have taken the bait. And they have pushed forward to attack us here. Oh, hello, Sunswa. How are you today? Uh, I'm going to be a sneaky bugger and I'm going to retreat. I don't think they can catch us. Now they're pulled out of position and we can take the toolmaker back without without contest. Is Lubu reinforcing? He's not reinforcing. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start the battle here. This was the farmland. Had we had we attacked, we would have had to face off against towers, but they're attacking us, so there are no towers. Uh, it's pretty much peasants versus peasants. And so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to charge in and close our battle lines very quickly and get our general into the backfield where he can get a few uh, decent charges. But yeah, it's, it's all peasants, right? It's all peasants. Uh, we do have men of the forest that we could... Um, I don't know the play here. Okay, peasant warriors front and center. Sky heralds on the flanks. Spearman also on the flanks. This is our captain. And we do have a couple units of yellow turban warriors that we'll kind of send in as a reserve type deal. All right, let's go get them. Let's go shoot the G militia and the archer militia. Check out our ranks. Marching stoically across the dirty, snowy ground. Does not look like soft snow. This is a very long battle line. Very impressive. All led by our general over here. Yeah, we've got one unit to flee. Pull back there with these guys. Let's get our general coming into the flank of the G soldiers here. No, nope, they've re they've turned. Let's pull back and let's turn our uh, UI back on. Because I've marched our archers. Uh, right in the battle. Here, pull back. Yeah, that's what happens when you're farting around with your cinematics and stuff. It's largely why I don't do it. <laughs> Okay, but this unit's gonna break over here and then our general's gonna be able to push through. Go get their uh, their missile units in the backfield there. You guys firing at stuff? You are, good. Now our general is getting evaporated. Okay, we need to get our general back here on this archer militia. He is taking a lot of fire. Zhu Ji. We brought him up uh, simply as a stopgap to prevent Liu Bei from getting away from us. And he may pay the ultimate price here in our war against China. Or in our war in China. Or however it should be worded. Now he's collapsing them. Very good.
Okay, let's get him over here onto these archers if we can. And now we got some breaking peasant warriors here in the center. Alright, we've got them out of here. Let's come back with our general. I think we need his morale. Okay, shooting that stuff. Okay, let's shoot them there. Shoot that. Our general is barely holding on. Another one of our units has fled over there. Okay, let's uh, shoot the spear warriors way back there and let's charge in with what remains of our general's bodyguard to the G infantry captain of all things. I hope it is a fruitful effort. Okay, let's pull out and then let's uh, follow up with our yellow turban warriors. He weakened their morale. Let's see if the warriors can finish the job. Our success looms large. Victory is getting closer or something like that. Okay, let's come over here and get these guys now. We got another G infantry captain holding strong. Let's shoot him. We've broken almost everything else. We are barely holding on ourselves here. Okay, but we are going to take the field, and Lu Bu will be homeless and suicidal. And very likely, he will be taking attrition because he won't have anywhere. Um, I think you need to hold at least one territory to prevent taking attrition, but uh, that may also just not be true for Three Kingdoms. We'll find out in a moment here. Okay, the battle is over, folks. We can, uh, we can get out of here. Yes, thank you. Oh boy, we are like right at the 57 minute mark. And Lubu is still not dead. I wanted to get rid of him this episode. We'll see we'll see if we can do it real fast here. We'll see if we can do it real fast. Uh, let's take the 3% replenishment. We're gonna need it. Duchy of Chu had a small showing of force over there. Oh, they did not push forward to attack either of our armies heading down over onto Shangyang. Kingdom of Ba taking to the river and then settling in at the salt mine at Dongao. Faction succession. Gan Li has been succeeded by Bu Zhuenmeng. Okay, so let's look at what's going on with Lubu over here. He's still in the water. Oh, he didn't even come up on the land. Uh, so he's pretty much, he's cornered. Okay, he can't go anywhere. And so here's what we're going to do. I, I don't like to make my episodes over an hour if I can help it. So when we come back in the next one, we're going to chase down Lubu. And once and for all, we should see him vacated from the game. We are going to do some recruitment over here at Lao Yang in preparation for declaring war on Duchy of Chu. He's got a couple armies over here. Not exactly sure how we're going to navigate that. And then up this way, up this way. If we have night battles, uh, maybe we'll come down and fight this guy, or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just, you know, maybe we'll just attack Sun Swa and then, and then backtrack. I think we're going to go after Sun Swa. Uh, because I think with the most recent patch, the AI no longer retreats from battle while in a forced march stance. And he is just inside our movement range. So I think we can catch him. We'll take back the Toolmaker. And we'll start taking away some of the territory over here. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know with comments or thumbs up. I enjoyed it. Still enjoying the campaign very much. Lots of fun. Check out the rest of the channel if you have not already and are not subscribed. Although at like 60 episodes into a campaign, it'd be hard to imagine you're not subscribed by now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon. Take care.